Hi friends, it's Kate here with your fearless word of the day. Today we are going to be in Ruth chapter three, verses one through three. So why don't we go ahead and dive right on in. It says this. So this is Naomi talking to Ruth. One day, Naomi, her mother-in-law said to her, my daughter, should I not try to find a home for you where you will be well provided for? Is it not Boaz, with whose servant girls you have been a kinsman of ours? Tonight he will be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Wash and perfume yourself and put on your best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor, but don't let him know you were there until he has finished eating and drinking. So Ruth and Naomi probably have been in Bethlehem for a number of weeks. And Ruth painstakingly has been following behind the harvesters and behind the girls of the field and has been picking up little pieces of barley. And now the barley season, the harvest season, means that everyone brings what they have picked and they bring it to the threshing floor. And that's where the chaff of the barley is separated from the barley pearl. Now the chaff, the covering of the barley is kind of hard, a little gnarly, a little scratchy. And when you pull that away, it reveals a little pearl, a little seed, a little smaller than a popcorn kernel. And that can be ground into flour and you can make bread with it. What I love about this passage is we see that Naomi has had a little turn. All of that roughness, that hardness, that bitterness that we saw her have in the first two chapters are revealing a little kernel of hope. She is seeing outside of her bitterness and she is seeing hope for her daughter-in-law. And so she devises this plan and she tells her daughter-in-law, hey, I want you to go and wash up and I want you to put some perfume on because I want you to go where Boaz is. Naomi has seen um, Boaz's goodness and kindness to her daughter-in-law and to herself. And so she has a little seed of hope. I think for some of us, we might feel like we've been in a season where we've been surrounded by the um, chaff of a, of a barley that's gnarly and crumbly and it feels a little itchy and uncomfortable. But I want you to realize that those seasons pass. They don't stay for a long time. But I also want you to have your eyes out for little tiny pearls of hope in your life. Sometimes those pearls of hope come from the most unexpected people. For Naomi's, it came from Ruth. I want you to keep your eyes out for someone who maybe is going to be nice or kind or sweet to you so that you can see a pearl of hope in your life if you feel like you've been going through some things. Or maybe, just maybe, the opposite is true for you. Maybe in the next few weeks or days, you're going to encounter someone who is sad, who is bitter, who is angry, who is scared. What if you could be the little pearl of hope in their life? The little seed that is planted to say that there is goodness to come. Be the goodness. Look for the goodness. It's there. You just have to look for it. Well, friends, this is Kate with your fearless word of the day. I hope you have a good time looking for the hope that God will surely reveal to you no matter what you're going through. Have a great day. Bye.